Hey guys, Scuba Chris here. I want to show you some of the hooks I just got in from Mustad. Now these are the bait holder slight sliced shanks. These are very special hooks. I mean, I really had to look at the catalogs for days to figure out this is what I'm gonna try. And what makes this special is that these hooks have sickles and they are offset. Now, what are sickles? Look on the shank of the hook. See those little barbs? There's two little barbs coming out of it. Those are sickles. Sickles means that um, if you put bait on it, it will hold the bait as well as grubs. Now, what is offset? Look at it straight on. Look at that. That's because it, instead of the, the shank of the hook lining up with the tip, the tip is offset. That means for quicker hookup okay um, sometimes you're going to sacrifice solid hookups but this means a quicker hookup and a faster hookup now when i go out at night especially at night i can do this during the day but especially at night this is the hook i prefer now for years i used to use these hooks from japan um, i get them at jne fishing supply here locally in hawaii they're called mutsus. These are from Japan. You rarely, rarely see these. These are excellent hooks. These are one ox. And what's good about these, as you notice, look, factory offset, right? That's what we're looking for, but no sickles. So what's gonna happen? I can put a grub. Now I fish with grubs at night. It's a cheap way of fishing and it's fast. Okay, look at that. Now I can do it like this, all right. But I find that I, I get a lot of the bottom part pulled off because the fish doesn't grab the hook or it's not fast enough. All right, so uh, what I've been doing after that is I put about three quarter, one half to three quarter of the of the hook to the grub and I come up like so okay this works but only for a while because after one or two grabs what's going to happen it's going to start sliding up and down and even with the water pressure when you when you're whipping now whipping in Hawaii is spin casting you're going to call it spin casting but in hawaii we call it whipping because you're getting your your rod and you're whipping the rod okay so we call that whipping so after a while the, the, it's going to come all this grub is going to come all the way down it's going to be like that and the lure is going to and the grub is going to come back sideways and the fish they're smart they know that that's not a natural presentation they're not going to touch that all right so what do we want to do well, that's where this hook comes in. Now this hook here is the new ones I just got. So what happens is now when I go through the body of the grub, about three quarter way through see now I'm about to come out all right I'm gonna push it all the way up to the eye of the hook how's that this looks great you know take a look at that that is what I use now when I go out at night I'm gonna tie about maybe seven or eight feet of leader out from this it can be either fluorocarbon or or mono and i'm going to put like maybe um a green um fluorescent bead over here that'll help um draw attention and sometimes i put streamers i'll put on um, glow in the dark threads and um that would also help okay but you know that's when you want to get fancy but this this works i mean these here these are called old babies the name of the grub is made by um chl which is completely Completely Hook Lures is owned by Landon Yamamoto here in Hawaii. I've had good success with this. For some reason, this color here, orange, seems to work. 
And it's strange because in the on, on our local reefs here, I don't see anything that's orange that they feed on. But, you know, then again, the, the fish's eyesight is different from our eyesight, okay? So they're, they're perceiving it as something good to eat. So when you try to push it down, look, it's not going to come down that easy. See, look, look how it repels going up. See, look, it repels going, it's repelling because it's going back up again. It's because the sickles are pointing up. It's keeping that grub on the hook. And I just showed you, look, I just pierced it a couple times with this hook. But look, look what's happening. It's still on this. You want to save money on your grubs. You want um, good hookups. This is what I would recommend. Get this type of hook. And recently, um, Bill Newton over here, he's the inventor of what we call hammer bombs. This is a hammer bomb. It's a re resin cast assist device. Now, it's hard to tell in the light over here, but it's flashing and the inside is flashing. And this is this is a, a 1.0, so this is a one ounce. Um, so what's going to happen is you throw it out, and it's going to sink slow, right? But this one here is a floating one, so it's going to stay on the surface. So you just bring it back, and what's going to happen is that you're going to have this about seven to eight feet behind. The splashing as well as um, the the lights coming from this will attract your predators, and they're going to see this in the back. So this is a nice one-two punch. And especially up if you're in the shallows, like about maybe two to four feet of water, you won't get hung up when you use this. But if you're deeper than four feet, you can go with a lead egg. Just remember, match up your accessories to your gear, all right? Because I find that I don't like whipping with rods that are rated for more than one ounce because I like to use half an ounce or five eighths of an ounce and the reason i like using that is because if you use more than a half ounce of uh, lead weight it's going to sink faster i like to use rods that will let me keep about a half ounce on the line so yeah i have time to slow it down if i have to and that way it, everything won't sink to the bottom and it won't catch on anything you know it's knowing where you go and what you're targeting over here at night i target a coolie which are scads and reds, which are big eyes. Hey, before I forget, this is my utility lanyard. Uh, Batman has his utility belt. I have my utility lanyard. So when I go out at night, because I'm using um, glow-in-the-dark rubs, I have my UV light here, and I got my regular light so I, I can see my way out through the rocks to get to where I want. Now, at night, that's where um, you're usually more successful at night, um, but you don't want a lot of bright white light along shoreline because that tends to scare the fish, so we try to use red light instead, so at least we can see. But I like to go to areas where I know the topography of the area. I know where I'm stepping. I don't have to worry about getting hurt or falling into the water, all right? And after a while, your eyes adjust to the starlights above you. And after a while, you can see what's around you. Just like the fish. The fish have very large eyes, especially the ones out at night. They're, they're nocturnal species. They have big eyes. They're sensitive to light. Um, a lot of times when there's been times throughout the years where Maybe my light has failed or run low in batteries. The fish senses the movement. It sees the movement. It actually sees the lowest. It'll still hit. Not as much as it can when everything is all bright and lit up, but it'll still happen that way. All right? Hey, but thanks for watching. Aloha, guys.